So you want to start a vlog. It's something that you've been thinking about, something that you've been admiring for years now, but you don't know where to start. All you know is that you want to bring the sauce, but you need that push. Well, don't worry, because I got you. I'm that push. <laughs> lunchtime which means I can get out and make this video <laughs> today I'm gonna teach you guys how I started vlogging with just my phone no more excuses no more wasting time because we are starting today right now we the one we are Neo my ninjas like I said before this video is to help those who are just on that edge they want to do it but they but they just can't do it. I mean, everything in you is telling you to just go ahead, just go, just, just start. But then your brain kicks in, starts overthinking, and then do you know, you're like, mm, maybe tomorrow. But my ninjas, no more because the time is now. The time is right now. Which is why we are starting with our phones. Which is a great thing because there are so many benefits to starting with your phone. It's always on you. Plus, the quality on phones from like 2008 to like now are ridiculously good. It's also a one-stop shop, meaning that you could film edit and upload all from just your phone. And then the icing on the cake is that the learning curve is small, but your learning ability as well as the results are limitless. Boss. <laughs> All right, now before we get into the video, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor, TSG Adventures and Digital Chat Tech. Thank you so much for the coffees and pimping. If you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause I ain't a hater and my hood never let me be a hater. <laughs> First things first, you're gonna need a couple of things. The first one being a phone. Now, in my personal opinion, it does not matter what phone you have. What does matter though, is what ecosystem you are comfortable with. For example, for me, I am comfortable with Apple's ecosystem. I mean, that AirDrop game, the AirDrop game is boss. Next thing you're gonna need is some space on that cell phone. Now, if you are planning on shooting in 4K, you're gonna need a lot more space than if you were just planning on shooting in 1080p. Now, since you are using your cell phone's camera, you will need a decent amount of battery life. Because when using your cell phone's camera, especially when shooting video, you will notice that the battery will die a lot faster. You will definitely need to make sure that you have at least like a charge on it. <laughs> For me personally, when I use my cell phone to vlog, I make sure that I have at least 70%. And I hold up pivot because I almost forgot there's one more thing that you are gonna need and that is some kind of editing software. Hold up a chair pivot because there are plenty to choose from for free 99. No matter what phone you're rocking, get on your app store app and go ahead and go ham. Pick anything that's free. And after you finish shooting, go ahead and start editing. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all you need to get started vlogging with your phone. we got the basis of what you're gonna need out of the way let's talk about a few things that I keep in mind when vlogging with a phone and these are just a few things that I've learned over the years that help me bring more of the sauce well firstly make sure that you clean the lenses of the camera and now, yeah this is definitely one of the simplest tips that I have for you guys but it is definitely something to be aware of because your phone is always in your pocket and you're always grabbing and most likely you will not be paying attention to the smudges on the lens of the camera and the reason I know this is because I've done it a lot of times <laughs> so look my ninjas take 10 seconds and just clean that lens off of that camera because man there is nothing worse than seeing just like a bunch of smudges or some lint and just like all this dirt on the lens while you're editing the footage because there's nothing you could do about it <laughs> and now next let's talk about mindset and what i mean by mindset is that i don't want you guys to think that you have to be out and about hugging the block just for a video to be considered a vlog to me a vlog could be a structured review or maybe you want to do something like a sit down vlog well, hey, hey whatever works for you because if i'm keeping it 100 b with y'all vlogs are just different types of videos there's not one vlog like not one version of a vlog yeah you can be out hugging the block like your boy sky money or you could be indoors doing your thing you can also do vlog style review and my ninjas the list goes on so now after you think about your style of vlogging the next thing i want you to think about is how you are going to structure your vlog is the structure of your vlog going to be fully planned out or is it going to be like semi-planned out 
or is the plan for you to actually not have a plan. That is completely up to you, but in my personal opinion, I think at least semi-plan probably works the best. But if you feel like you just don't need a plan and just a topic, then pimpin', that's all you, my ninja. Do what you gotta do. Woo, <laughs> it's windy. <laughs> at the end of the day, all I'm trying to say is make the vlog yours. Like a vlog is not a specific style or anything. Just make your own vlog. Do your own thing. And Pimpin, I guarantee you, just by changing your mindset just a little bit of, I'm gonna do my own thing, it's gonna take a world of weight off your shoulders, which will then hopefully help you to start. And now the next tip would have to be not letting perfection get in the way of just you starting. Now Pimpin, believe it or not, but everyone has this problem, like everybody. I mean, if I'm being real, it's like a creator's curse. Are my shots okay? Am I offering any value? Do I bring the salt? Look, my ninjas, we all worry about these things. We all think about it. That's okay, but where I want you to stand out is that I want you to be the one that starts. And not someone that just makes excuses for not starting. Uh oh, this guy just pulling up on somebody. <laughs> All right, now before I was distracted, I wanted to say, remember that Pimpin, you are the drip. So be the drip. I've been seeing so many comments about people just wanting to do it, but just, but just can't. And my ninjas, I'm here to tell you, if you're looking for a sign, I'm the sign. I'm Neo. You guys got this. Just pull out your phones and start. Y'all got it. Come on, Pimpin, be the drip. You the drip. My next tip is to try to pay attention to lighting. And now I rarely talk about lighting when it comes to vlogging, but it is something that I am very cautious about like every time I go out and film or even filming indoors. Even when you are indoors, make sure that you have the natural light from a window. I always like window light is boss. I realize that I always pay attention to it when it comes to vlogging, especially when vlogging with a smaller camera. Because a lot of these smaller cameras have smaller sensors. Which means that on a sunny day, things could look amazing if you light it right. All you're doing is making sure that the light source is on the subject versus being on the camera. Which is why when I vlog, I don't just have the camera always out in front of me. I'll either have it on the side or on the other side. And the reason for that is I am paying attention to the light source, which is very important when using your phone because it has a smaller sensor. The less light these sensors are getting, the higher that ISO needs to bump up. And the higher the ISO needs to go, the more noise you are getting in the footage. And now, quick side note, something that I have noticed when vlogging with an iPhone is that if the lighting is not soft enough, it can make the skin tones look a little funny. Just being real, just, just wanted y'all to know. <laughs> It's nice today, but it is definitely still windy. <laughs> And then the last tip I have for you guys is to actually use a tripod. And now for me personally, I use the smaller version of this Joby Gorilla Pod and it works, it, it's pretty boss. The only reason I did not include tripod in the must have equipment was because you don't really need one, but it is extremely helpful. <laughs> See, no tripod needed. Just chilling on the door handle. <laughs> And it's helpful in two ways. One, you can get a wider shot, and two, you can actively sit the phone down. And now having a wider shot just helps the audience kind of feel like they're along with you for this journey of throughout the vlog. And then being able to sit the phone down just lets you get different variety of shots, which helps your vlog be more dynamic. You don't want just a flat vlog. The best way I found that helps vlogs be more dynamic is by having a different variety of shots and angles. But again, Pimpin, you don't necessarily need a tripod because at the end of the day, the whole goal is to just start. All done with work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And this video was just to get you guys started because I don't, I don't want no more excuses. Seriously, my ninjas, whip out those phones and let's get, let's go. Also, on quick side note, if you have any tips, don't forget, leave them down below as well. Don't be stingy. <laughs> and my ninja, if you want to buy me a coffee, don't be shy. That link is down below. If not, no Tino shade because I ain't a hater and my hood never let me be a hater. Anyway, Pippin, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.